Hey guys, it's Drummond. So I just went and saw Love, Simon in theaters with my boyfriend and it was amazing. Amazing in the way that it really portrayed what it feels like to be a gay person and have to come out. And it also had a lot of scenes where it showed things that gay people had to overcome after coming out. I honestly feel like it was like a fairy tale ending for any gay kid who wanted to come out, which I think is a good type of movie to put out there for people who are still in the closet because we want to give you guys hope that there's light at the end of the tunnel and once you come out, things are just gonna just start falling into place for you. And to be honest, it's true. Not everyone's coming out story is perfect. I know with my coming out story, my dad is still struggling with accepting me for being gay. So we all have our struggles, but this video I wanted to talk about coming out to your family and friends and how important it is. One thing that a lot of gay people realize when they're in the closet is how judgmental a lot of people are. You constantly hear people make gay slurs and gay jokes and it really scares you into not coming out. But to be honest, a lot of people are just making those types of jokes out of insecurities of their own or just because they think it's funny. And it really doesn't have anything to do with the fact that you're gay or the fact that they don't like gay people. It's really just a matter of their ignorance and them not understanding. And that's one thing that I think is really important and why a lot more people should come out is because we need to educate these people on what gay is. We need to show them that we're not all the stereotypes of what people think gay people are. I know I gave a speech at a church where they were nice enough to let me get up there and at the end of my speech I just said, hey, I'll answer any questions you guys have. And the questions were insane because so many people don't understand what being gay is. I got asked, like, when do I wear dresses? And when I was going to have the surgery to have boobs and my penis removed. And I was just like, you guys are really confused of what being gay is. A lot of families, the only opportunity they will get to understand what gay is if they have a gay child is through their gay child. I want to put a lot of emphasis on the fact that yes, it sucks to be gay sometimes and it's a constant struggle, but it is also a huge struggle for a parent to learn how to accept their child for being gay as well. So that's where I feel like we as gay people have to stand up and make sure that we are setting good examples and also putting our hearts into helping our family and friends understand what it's like to be gay because I feel like it's really important. I know it's really hard for us to think of parents and friends as victims when they've probably said a lot of really hurtful things to us in the past about gay people or after we've come out they've said horrible things to us. My advice to people in situations like that is to build a family around you of friends that love and accept you for everything that you are. Build yourself up and find strength in the people that love you and then go back and try to explain and educate your family and friends that weren't able to accept you at the beginning because it's so important that we teach the world how to accept gay people. As long as there's people out there who remain ignorant and uneducated about the LGBT community, the more we're going to have to deal with hate and misunderstanding. I would also like to put out there, if you feel like it's an unsafe situation to come out to your family, don't do it. It's not that important. You can go out into the world and find people who will love you without outing yourself to your family. I honestly was pushed out of the closet by my stepsister. She felt it was her right to let people know that I was gay. It was hard, but it pushed me out of the closet way sooner than I probably ever would have myself. And looking back, I am so glad that I am no longer in the closet just because it's a huge weight that's lifted off of your shoulder. And I can honestly say I would never want to go back in the closet. I've had people who are in the closet ask me to date them, but they wanted to keep it a secret and I just had to let them know that I will be there for them, but going back in the closet would be adding so much more lies and stress and everything in my life. A really emotional part in the movie for me was when Simon was talking to his dad and his dad was really upset about not seeing that his son was gay because he said that his son had known for four years and how could he be a dad and say that he loves his child if he couldn't see something like that. And it's a beautiful thing to see a parent care that much. I know when I came out to my sisters, it was really hard for them to accept it because 
we told each other everything and the fact that I had been keeping that a secret from them, it just really hurt them to know that I had been lying to them. So that's another thing that we have to look at as gay people is how many lies that we've told people around us to cover up the fact that we're gay because we don't want them to find out about us. We really have to take into consideration that these people really do care about us and we've been lying to them. And not saying that our struggle isn't real, but we also have to realize that these people have been open and honest with us for the most part and we've been keeping a big secret from them. So we have to come out with a very understanding heart too. Just because it's really hard for other people to come to accept it and understand it. And I just love how in the movie Simon's friends were really upset with him for all the lies that he told to keep a secret but ended up coming around in the end. And I honestly feel like if someone's really your friend, they will come around in the end. You just have to be patient and be loving and not be angry. I have seen so many gay people post so many horrible things and hate towards people who are saying bad things about gay people. But honestly, I feel like the thing that we need to be doing the most right now is opening our hearts and mind and being very understanding and loving to those who don't understand. I guess when it comes to coming out to people in our lives, it's really down to how comfortable you are and how ready you are to come out to them. But I will say from experience in the past, I was scared of things that once I did come out never happened. A lot of gay people waste a lot of their life hiding in fear that people are not going to love them. Just like in the movie Love, Simon, he said that he just didn't want things to change. It was his senior year in high school and he didn't want things to change. I know that was pretty much my boat as well in high school. I didn't really want to have to deal with that. I just wanted things to be the same. I wanted to have an amazing senior year. I was just like, in college, it's going to happen. I most definitely didn't have a huge dance party in my dorm coming out dancing to Whitney Houston like he dreamed in the movie. I don't feel like a lot of gay people are like that. I feel like a lot of gay people are also scared of coming out because they're afraid that people are going to think that they're the stereotype of what gay people are. You don't have to change who you are. You're going to be the same person no matter what. The only thing that's going to feel better is the fact that you no longer have to hide things. I know that there were several times where I'd done stuff or seen stuff and I just wanted to share it with people but I felt so alone and it really put me in a lonely place in life and I don't want that for anybody so I hope that if you're watching this video and you haven't come out of the closet yet that you take into consideration possibly coming out to someone, maybe not someone super close, just like Simon, he came out to his friend that he had just met three months before instead of his friend that he cared a lot about that he'd known for 13 years. I feel like if you're able to come out to just one person and get a positive reaction, I feel like it's gonna help you with the coming out process and I think you'll start to realize that it's really not as hard as it seems. I can honestly say since I came out almost 11 years ago now, things have gotten so much better for the LGBT community. And even though the Trump and Pence administration is in the White House right now, I feel like the gay community is still thriving and there's so many people out there and so many different ways that you can connect with people to help you in this type of situation. So I hope you like this video. If you haven't yet, subscribe to my channel, give this video a thumbs up, and I'll leave some links down below for my other social medias if you wanna follow me on those. I usually post different things across my Snapchat, Instagram, Facebook, and YouTube page. So definitely check all of those out. And feel free to leave some comments in the comment section below. I love hearing y'all's stories and I most definitely will be commenting back. Especially if you're having a hard time coming out, please message me. I'd love to talk to you guys. You can message me across any of my platforms. I love to talk to you. If you don't feel safe putting it out on a public forum like YouTube, feel free to leave me a private comment on my Facebook page. I love talking to you guys and I want to help in any way that I can. But until next time, I will talk to you guys later. Bye.